See, the cornea is the outermost layer of the eye. It is a transparent area through which all the ray of lights which go on to the eye hit on the cornea first. They get converged or focused by the cornea, go on to a lens and then go on to back to your retina. Now, if there is any problem with the cornea, you will be having difficulty in seeing things clearly. You can have pain, watering, difficulty in bright light and these problems. So the cornea is a very important outermost first layer of the eye. It is actually the window of the eye if you see it that way. The cornea can be most commonly involved by changes related to age or by whitening of the eye which is called as corneal opacity. Sometimes it can be because of an infection which is called as keratitis. You will have a lot of pain and watering or because of this. Another thing which is very common in this age group, in the younger age group, is something called as keratoconus in which the cornea becomes more conical and your powers keep on increasing too much. You have to wear thicker glasses as the time progresses. The most commonly performed surgery in the cornea is a refractive surgery called as LASIK in which we basically correct some part of the corneal power which helps you to see better without glasses. It is one of the most commonly performed procedures on the cornea. Other than that, this is for a norm, normal cornea, for a healthy cornea. If your cornea has a disease, there can be other surgeries like collagen cross-linking or keratoplasty which is called transplant which can be done on the cornea. LASIK has evolved. LASIK started off about 25 years back when we had something called as a micro keratome, a blade and it was like a standard procedure done for everybody the same way. You have the same power, we do the same LASIK for you. Last couple of years, LASIK has evolved drastically. We have something called as bladeless LASIK in which absolutely no blade is used on your eye. We use all laser technology which is very very precise. What we have with us is called as interlace, the procedure is called as eye LASIK. Another advantage of iLASIC is that it is a customized procedure. It's like buying a suit which is tailor tailor made to your shape. You don't go off to the shelf and buy the suit which is just approximate to your shape. Same way, your eye is different. Each person's eye is different from the other person's. What eye design or the advanced machines we have basically do is they correct the profile of the eye by correctly evaluating it to very minute details. And the treatment is so specific to your eye that it, it is like a fingerprint. You cannot change it, you cannot do it for some, somebody else. It is exactly fitting to your eye's profile. So these two advances, bladeless classic and customized treatment are the latest ones. Last couple of years, the results have been very good and patients are very, very satisfied with LASIK procedures, especially the eye LASIK procedure. My advice to you will be that first of all, get a pro proper screening done. You have to be a good candidate for LASIK. If you are not a good candidate for LASIK, which happens in about 30% of people with your glasses, we have to look at whether other options like implantable columbar lenses, which are equally good but more suited to those patients who are not good candidates for LASIK can be done for you. In about 10% cases, you will not be suitable for LASIK because of either the cornea being too thin or the power being too high or some other problem in the retina. In that case, you will not be a good candidate, you will have to wear glasses or contact lenses. But 90% of patients, 90% of people who come to us with the current technology we have can be taken up for elective vision correction which constitutes LASIK or ICL as an option.